So, I've been looking up and reading a lot of studies recently. About what? Well, mostly about whether virtual reality may have any effects on the brain. And what did I find? Well, a ton of interesting things, actually. But first, let me begin on why I started this quest for knowledge in the first place. Ever since I received my HTC Vive and played many hours with it, I have noticed a huge difference in my lifestyle. Well, I guess it's more of a difference in my sleep style. I am dreaming much more often. Now I know what you're going to say. Brad, you idiot! You're always dreaming! Yes, I know. What I mean is that I'm actually remembering almost every dream I have. And this is actually a very new thing for me. I've not remembered a dream in probably the past three years, until a few months ago. So then, I thought to myself, what happened in my life a few months ago that have caused me to possibly remember my dreams so very often? I haven't gotten a new job or started a new diet, but I did get a virtual reality headset. Now look, I was pretty skeptical at first too, but I still googled it. And after a few minutes of googling this, I actually found a study done by the UCLA that might actually prove what I've been thinking. I will put a link in the description of the published study. But the study states, scientists study the hippocampus of the brain. This is the part of the brain that is affected by diseases such as Alzheimer's, stroke, depression, schizophrenia, and epilepsy. The hippocampus is also important for memory formation and helps the brain create mental maps of rooms so that we can navigate them appropriately. In the real world, the brain also uses smells and sounds for navigating around spaces. So what happens when you create an environment without those smells and sounds, such as a virtual reality setting? This is what researchers cared to find out. They took a bunch of rats and put them in a virtual reality environment using large display screens and treadmills while hooking up wires to their brain while they study the hippocampal neurons of their brains. They compared the results of the virtual reality rats with those that were walking around in a real room. And this is where it gets interesting. The results of their tests show that the rats' hippocampal neurons reacted completely different in the virtual reality environment than in the real world setting. In the VR world, hippocampal neurons fired randomly, suggesting that the rats had no idea where they were, despite the fact that they navigated the virtual setting similar to how they navigated the real world setting. So to simplify this, let's just say I start counting. One, two, and I stop at two and wait for you to answer the next in the sequence. You would answer three, like any sane person, unless you're well, um, Eh, well, never mind about that. But basically, in the real world, the brain goes by the correct sequence it has learned. One, two, three, four, and so on. But in the VR world, it is completely random. So it basically would be like 2, F, 37, cat, 70, something like that. Researchers later suggest that using virtual reality could help trigger memory making in those afflicted with diseases that affect memory. But I kind of see it in a whole different way. See, we also know that the hippocampus is heavily involved during REM sleep. REM sleep is the rapid eye movement sleep cycle that is characterized by rapid and random eye movement, high frequency brain waves similar to those during wakefulness, muscle paralysis, or estonia, in frequent and vivid dreams. The brain synthesizes and subjectively interprets this internal activity, and attempts to find meaning in the random signals, the results of which are what we call dreams. So my personal theory is that virtual reality is similar to how the brain interacts with dreams. And by interacting with my virtual reality headset during the day, I'm giving my brain more chances to learn how to decode these random signals. So that's my theory. I believe that virtual reality helps people remember dreams. However, I would love some more data to prove my result. If you had issues like me and you get a virtual reality headset, I would love to know if you have any improvement as well. If you do, please write a comment below. Whether my theory is correct or not, it's good to know that the UCLA might actually believe that virtual reality will help people with memory loss issues. 
And that's the end of my video. I want to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. If you hated this video, go ahead and mash that down vote button. I love it. it I just, oh, it makes me feel so good. And uh, if you liked it, then you know you can do the upvote, I guess. I don't really care. But yeah, have a good day.